There is something a bit scary about a blank canvas. A void waiting to be filled. A space ready to be created upon. An infinite amount of choices. But where to begin? It's a bit daunting to kind of make the first marks, I guess, um, and to because there's so many possibilities. They could go in any direction, really, and it's just, yeah, it's daunting. That's Maria Bovor. It was her design that was picked by Vice President for Student Development, Dr. Mickey Camerata. Well, we wanted something natural that tied into the environment and tied the environment together. We wanted something colorful, but a little modern, uh, you know, what you would expect to see in a college environment. Uh, but we knew it needed to be botanical, natural, and tie into its surrounding environment. Believe it or not, this project is actually a summer class. Professor Kyle Caniglio is the instructor. I am very happy with what we came up with and everyone was really excited about it and this idea specifically you know a lot of us w were hoping that this was the one that was going to get picked for us to do. Jamie Ashman is a sophomore pursuing her Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. I really like the design that we came up with. It took a while. We took we drew out a lot of different ideas but um, we came up with this one and I'm really happy with it. I think everyone's really happy with it. And so for these eight students and their professor the next two weeks will challenge their creativity and test their resolve as they attempt to turn a 400 square foot blank canvas into something beautiful. The first step in the process was to meticulously draw an outline of the piece onto the space. But their first challenge came up day two when the base coat of white paint started to peel. A little behind, we're fine. We're still getting tan. With a new base coat applied, they started fresh the next day, laying out the design. Carefully, line by line, they drew in charcoal the hundreds of shapes that make up the landscape. The wall is stable. The next step was to go over the charcoal with paint so that the design wouldn't wash away. And as they started to figure out what color goes where, Professor Coniglio decided to simply number each color and assign it to its matching area. Paint by numbers may sound easy, but there were still some creative problems to solve. Wait, yeah. what color is green? So just go with five. Green, that green is nine. So then shouldn't this one be nine and this be six? Because look, like this is the green, right? I mean, right now it seems really complicated, but like once you fill in, like this is, right now it's pretty much paint by number, but like once you fill it in, it's gonna have like this nice flow of colors from like warm colors to cool colors. With the design laid out, it was time to mix up the first batches of paint and start the long process of filling it all in. For the most part, when you think of artists, you think of someone alone in their studio, spending hour after hour in silence, laboring over every detail of their creation. But here we have nine people each with a different level of skill, each with a different perspective, coming together to work on one common goal. And for potential art teacher Miwa Ishikawa, this team approach is appealing. Uh, I think if I were to become an art teacher, I th doing a mural would be something that I would want my students to do because it just builds teamwork and it unites people, it connects people. I think it's a great thing. I love working with a team, so I, all of our ideas combining together, I think we're going to come up with a great piece. So. We already came up with a really great idea and I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. One thing that the ladies were keenly aware of was they had found themselves the best classroom ever. I didn't know until I walked to the first day of class. I didn't know it was going to be an outside mural. Um, I thought it was going to be somewhere inside and so we get to be outside, get a little tan and have fun, listen to music and yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's interesting because everyone else is like studying for exams and stuff. We're just painting. <laughs> the plan for the final day was to apply a varnish to the entire piece to seal it from the weather, but it was some of the most demanding work they had done. Oh, this is hard work. I know. Yeah, so close though. And as the last of the work was done, there was a chance to reflect on what they had accomplished in just three short weeks. For graphic design student Nikki Kiza, 
it was about overcoming doubt. I love it. I, I've never, I don't know, the pixelated thing I, I wasn't really too sure of, like on a mural, but it kind of turned out better than the drawing itself. For Kyle Coniglio, it's all those things besides the painting he thinks they are going to take away. I think, I think they, I think they weren't really sure what to expect, and I think they um, were probably most taken with the amount of preparation we put into everything. For our designer Maria Bovor, the last day was not what she expected. It's uh, exciting and also a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> it's like it's just, it's just finished. It yeah, we're done now. <laughs> Go away and do something I else. I wanted like a party. Yeah. <laughs> and for Jamie Ashman, the end is bittersweet. I'm kind of sad that it's coming to an end because we have like such a great group of people and it's really fun to work with everyone, but we're really excited that it's finished and I think it looks really great, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> Three weeks of work. Just enough time to leave an impression. An indication that you were there. A marker of time of creativity, of effort. Nine people came together in the summer of 16 to create a mural, but what they took away goes well beyond what they left behind.